Hey guy, you gonna make up your mind? Okay. Hello everyone, this is Fang Death with another Minecraft video. And I'm on my survival single player world. And that guy's. What's wrong with him? He's like just running around. I'm gonna push you. Okay, that fixed that. Oh, Enderman. Uh, I don't want to look at him, kind of. So, I've made some improvements. I've gone through all of the farms and, like, uh, got rid of all of them. And then I plant replanted them, kind of. So, basically, uh, and also, if one farm plants had, like, carrots on one side, I would put carrots on both sides. So, both of them have carrots, both of these have wheat. Both of these have wheat. And then over there is potatoes, and over here is more potatoes and more wheat. And right now, this is like my last piece of food. Um, I'm actually cooking up uh, potatoes right now. And if I go into my inventory, you can see that I have armor. That's because I went caving a bit. Uh, I want to do, I want to go caving again. It's just like I was. I went in quite a bit of small caves, and that wouldn't be that good of video, so I wanted to go into a ravine. I'm going to need a bucket. I'm also going to need a new helmet, because mine's basically dead. Fail. So I got a bucket. Let's get a helmet. Uh, I'll just hold that. Keep that on me. Um... Yeah, six. So six is good. Um, got some water. I won't need that right now. Um, because first I'm going to farm first. Uh, before I go caving. But, um, yeah. So one addition I made is I have trap doors on this. So if anything does fall in, they can get out. I also lowered this. Um, because the road, it was bothering me, it like went straight up and it covered half of this. Um, I lowered it down one and kind of smoothed out the road a bit more. Also, I took off this entire thing because villagers were running, like jumping on it and going on the roof. I also lit up all the houses and I've added doors to the houses. And... These doors should work. I don't know why they wouldn't. Um, but I do see villagers in them sometimes, so that means they work, obviously. And I think that's really all. I lit up a huge area, as you can see, with all these torches. Um, I don't want any zombies coming to get me. Um, I think that's really all. Um, all I have is iron. Uh, 55. I had like a stack and a half, but I spent it all. Uh, I have quite a bit of coal. And I'm also going to need to make a farm, well, a chicken farm. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to make a very compact one. Um, going to need some signs. So. Um, but basically, it's not like the one I had, uh, have on the Pixel Sun server. It's going to be a normal one. Let's see, where should I put it? No, I won't put it there. Um, hmm. Wherever I... It's going to be tons of noise, so I need it a bit far away. I'll have it like, hold on, I need more blocks, but I'll just have it on the back of a house so it looks like some kind of thing, I don't know. And just so you can kind of see in it, I'll um, make it out of half blocks, uh, slabs. Okay, get that, uh, I can get that off my bar. 
And I'll just put it on the back of this house over here. So, um... Have one there, there. Um, I think this is kind of what I want. Okay, get rid of this. Because that's extra blocks I don't need. And I think this is all. Um, so basically, uh, let's also have a pathway up there. It's kind of ugly, but yeah. So how it's going to work is um, right there, I'll have the sign. Right here, I'll have the water. And they're going to be like this, jumping up like this over and over again. And then, um, yeah, they can't get out. And I can't get out either. If I destroy this, will the water... I'll just break this one. I don't want water to go everywhere. Come on, come on. Yes. Okay, so now I just have to put the chickens in and then basically what's going to happen is the eggs will just fall right here and later I'll be able to I'll probably make a um, like thing that either turns it off or makes it so what is it let's just put torches right here um, why am I forgetting? I'm going to take this. Make it so it drops into lava. I'm just making this thing so um, I can throw eggs against it. Come on, get, get two chickens, please. Well, that's one chicken. Wow, if only I got that chicken in here. That sucks. Well, as you can see, that chicken's just floating there. Oh, it can probably get out. Um, get these slabs. Oops. I'm going to need to... Oh, why? Why? Why did you just die? Stupid chicken. Um... I'm very confused right now. All of the other things I've built did not do that. I don't know the difference. Whatever, I'll just get more um, eggs later. But now it's time to harvest uh, this wheat and other stuff. So. I'm going to just harvest this really quick, and I need some food. Okay, I'll be back when it's harvested. So I have finished uh, farming and everything, and this is what I've gotten. A stack of wheats and 17, a stack of potatoes and 27, and 41 carrots. I don't know why I got the least amount of carrots. No, I shouldn't eat now. Um, but yeah. Also, uh, I have a music disc, so if I find a diamond, I need to make a record player music. I forget the name, but yeah. I got that from a creeper, a skeleton shot a creeper, and if the skeleton kills a creeper, then you get a record from it. So now, I'm going to go caving. And I'm just going to bring this wood, some coal, 
and I'm going to cook up a bit more potatoes because I'm going to need that the extra food. I think that's really all. Uh, let's bring a bit of blocks. So I'll be back and at the when I'm ready and we're at the cave. Okay, so uh, just to show you guys where the cave is, here's the village, here's the cave, and then, uh, well, we're going into a ravine, and the ravine is just right here. And I see some gold, some more gold, and I think that's really all. So let's get into caving. Um, I brought a water bucket, obviously. I want to get over there before I go down. And I'm also... I also, oh, that would have been bad. I need to light up everything in the cave anyways. That skeleton, not even shooting me. Get this coal. Aw, didn't even get it. Okay, so, um, yeah. I don't know what to talk about. Well, um, you guys probably if you looked at it uh, you would have known that I have a game called DLC quest and I accidentally forgot to record my voice on it so I had two hours of footage of no voice which was very annoying uh, also, I recently, by recently, like a couple hours ago, I bought CSGO or Counter-Strike Global, or Global Offensive, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, from what I've played, it was pretty fun, but um, yeah, I wanted to do this, so I'm doing this, and probably after this, I'll... I either have to, depending on when I finish this, I either have to go somewhere or uh, I'll probably play uh, Counter Strike. I don't know, it's pretty fun. And I'm actually pretty decent at it. Um, I'm surprised that um, I don't suck at it. But I am good at FPS games, which is first person shooter. Um, but kind of thought. That I wouldn't be as good because usually I play on console, not a computer. So I'm not used to the mouse. And the reason I play on played on the console is because my computer wasn't good enough. This is when I had like um, Pentium processors and not even a graphics card in my computer. And the computer was 10 years old. It, the year of the computer doesn't really matter, it's what is inside it matters, because you could, like, computer I've been playing on for a while, which is this one, except I got a better graphics card, was five years old, but it was $2,000, so if you spend a lot of money on it, then you'll get a good computer. If you spend not that much then yeah something that counteracts that is oh, uh, I don't know when this was but I think it was when my dad was in college he bought a three thousand dollar computer and because it was so bad like once when he was finished with it he uh, like it's slow like it was slow uh, from what he says um, but like the 10 year old computer I was talking about that's what that's way better than it and that computer probably wasn't that much I don't know but yeah basically try and buy the good stuff and then you'll be able to keep it for a while I kind of wish he kept that computer because I've never seen like in real life an old computer so yeah but he donated it, 
to the college. Sad face. Um, yeah. This kind of looks like... It seems like a small ravine. Uh, and I'm so lucky I have my phone on violent. No, not... <laughs> not violent. Vibrate. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Don't blow up the gold. You're standing on gold. That's bad. Thank you. Oh my god, he's calling again. Um, okay, so... Yeah. Ninja. I just made that jump. So, let's make a pathway down. Light up the area. How much gold do I have? I now have six. Is that all the gold here? Yes, it was. Um. Hmm. Oh, iron. I did not see that until just now. Obviously. See. Oh my god. <sighs> hey, skeleton. I know you're right there. Thank you. Light up this some more. Just grab these remains. Um, so, I know I asked if you guys wanted to see uh, Feed the Beast or single player, um, but I'm probably going to play Fe Feed the Beast anyways because I just think it's so cool how you can, like, do certain things. Like, have an automatic farm. Like, um, I was watching B00's brother last night and he made a automatic diamond farm well not yeah automatic so basically he can get unlimited diamonds from that but it took him a long time to make so it's not really that OP because you already need diamonds to make it so yeah I just want to do stuff like that and also like I think B00 and generic B are making I don't I haven't seen the beginning of it but I pretty sure they're making uh, emeralds and stuff and also uh, B00's brother um, got like also gets unlimited iron or gold from it and ender pearls whichever one he chooses because basically it goes comes from ender pearls that turns into iron uh, iron turns into gold and then the gold turns into diamond and yeah so I think just making something like that would be cool. But I don't know. Um, it will take a long time to get though, so I'll have to be playing for a while. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, sorry about that. I thought my parents were going to come into my room. And I just wanted to pause it before they did. So, uh, there's another cave here, so luckily it doesn't just end there. I'm just going to light up a bit of it before I go back and get the ores. I like doing this, uh, because if you let stuff spawn, then when you go, um, when you start going down the cave, uh, there's going to be things there, and that will be bad. Um, come on, let me get to the water source. And if you guys notice, I don't like blocking up water sources. I like keeping them because what if I need them later? Or something like that. Or if I somehow lose my water bucket. Um, there's always- I can just like backtrack through the cave. And I can just get more water. And that's always nice. So, I kind of thought this cave would be bigger. Well, not cave, but like ravine. But it's just a tiny thing. Most of the time, ravines have like these tiny caves, like the one I'm in right now, like just branching off from them. But I guess they don't. Well, this one doesn't. I missed some iron over there. 
Um, am I missing anything else? No. So, I'm just going to go through the cave and get all the iron and coal on the sides because you guys don't want me want to watch me pillaring and all that stuff. So, I'll be back up at the surface when I'm done. Ah, just woke up having a wonderful day. Um, so I got back from caving, and I'm just going to go around really quick to see if any zombies broke down any doors. Because if they didn't, that means my town's safe. And if they did, then that means I need to light up some more. So far, no doors broken. Okay. And then these doors are not broken. So, this is what I got. I can put this on now. Stack and a half of iron, six gold, three stacks of coal, and then some a ender pearl, and yeah, that's all. So I actually have to go now. So yeah, thanks for watching. As always, this is Fading Death, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.